Hi, this is Dr. Emily Park with your next Functional Health Minute. I'd like to take a couple minutes to talk about one of my favorite supplements for help with lowering blood glucose, and that is berberine. Um, and this berberine that I like to use is actually formulated also with alpha lipoic acid, which is another helper for lowering blood glucose. So berberine, um, there are some studies out there showing that it is as effective as metformin, um, which is a prescription medication for prediabetes in helping to um, lower blood glucose. So it helps with the insulin sensitivity part of it. But berberine also has several other really great benefits to it. And I also use it for many other reasons other than just blood glucose control. Berberine is also a potent antimicrobial. So I use it sometimes in gut protocols. Um, so things like SIBO, or if there's, you know, overgrowths in the stool, I can use, you know, if, if the, um, bacteria happens to be sensitive to berberine, I can use that to help balance the microbiome. And then there's also some really good studies on berberine in, in COVID, for example. So um, berberine is amazing. I like to use a total dose of about a thousand milligrams per day. And um, like I said, the one I like to use is paired with alpha lipoic acid, which also has some blood glucose lowering effects. But alpha lipoic acid also has some other really cool um, benefits to it. Um, ALA is also helpful for detoxification. I actually prescribe it sometimes, you know, for a metals detoxification protocol. And um, alpha lipoic acid also has some really good studies showing that it can help with nerve pain as well. So the combination of the berberine and the alpha lipoic acid, I find to be really, really super helpful. So I hope you find this interesting um, and, you know, something to consider for yourself if you're actually struggling with, you know, higher blood glucose uh, measurements, this can really be something that's helpful that's non-prescription. Of course, you do want to check with your healthcare provider to make sure it doesn't interact with any other of your current prescription medications. Um, and of course, if you you know have liver or kidney disease, you always want to talk to your practitioner before starting any new supplements or medications. This is Dr. Emily Park with today's Functional Health Minute.